Sugarloaf, I think, carries um, the meaning of home. I think it's been known as a beacon for visitors in the past traveling on the river and I think it's a great sort of uh, directional signage for people coming into town or leaving town. We've really become known as an arts and culture destination uh, and we're building on the outdoor recreation um, reputation now. So. I think that's just so many reasons why people come into town, but I think in the last at least 10 years, we really are known as an arts and culture hub. We're just really fortunate in Winona that we have so much, uh, and there's really hardly any given weekend that there's not something going on. So. I think it's uh, really a symbol of the city. It's been used for a lot of uh, advertising for the city by our uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau over the years in the city, but um, yeah, I guess it, it means uh, it means really uniquely Winona. Um, most people aren't aware is on the National Register of Historic Places. Uh, National Register doesn't just include buildings, but it also includes uh, natural landscapes, and, and Sugarloaf qualifies for that because of the unique story behind it. Well, Sh Sugarloaf, as far as its history, was a uh, original remnant that was of interest to the Native Americans uh, because of its shape and uh, it, its uh, history. The Native Americans looked at it as a uh, important icon and they called the Wabashas Cap because of its uh, shape. When the whites came into the area, they looked at it as a, um, as a place to get cheap, easily accessible limestone for a building in Winona. It was quarried uh, in the at the late part of the 1800s, it was they were finished quarrying it around 1900, and it sat as its remnant what we see today until it was uh, sold to a couple different individuals, and eventually the daughters of the American Revolution picked it up and gave it to the city as a park. 